Good morning, boys and girls. On Monday, I said that we were going to look at our new phonics sounds and we spoke about all of the meanings. And then I said, later on, you will be able to follow with me in your book. Well, it's now later on in the week and I am on page 35 of your phonics books. And today you have been asked to complete this bottom exercise. So I'm going to go through it with you for a few of them and we're going to find some of the words together and then you are going to find these words in this below. Now below is a whole lot of letters in a jumble and when we think of a whirlwind the wind goes like this, almost like your washing machine. It goes in a whirl. So because these letters are all jumbled up, like scrambled eggs almost, this is called a whirly word. So we've got to find the words in all of these words, but they're in a jumble, as I said. So learning the front sounds... The sausage sounds of our words can actually help us if we know what to look for. So we know we have to find words with fur, grr, trr, or pur. But now the tricky part of it is that the words can go forwards, they may go backwards. They may go sideways if it's a difficult whirly word. They may go down. And sometimes also if it's a difficult one, they may go up. But I think our one just goes forwards and down. Right, so let's have a look. So we are looking for these two letters together to make our sausage sounds for this week. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use the same colors that I've used over here to circle the words. Because it says find and circle your spelling words in this word box. They've called this a word box but we call it a whirly word because the words are all whirled together. Right, so let's have a look. St, r, there is our first one. T, r, tr, and that's in green. So you can either do it like this where you circle each one and here we go. Tr, a, truck. So there's our first word and you can color it in. And if you don't want to do it like this, what you can do is you can circle the whole word or you can just color in the blocks of the whole word. So you can color in the whole word like that. It's up to you how you want to do it. But I'm going to stick to it like this. Now you can't really see what I did, but you followed with me. So I circled first, and then I circled the whole word, and then I colored it all in. So maybe we should stick to coloring it in on the screen. Right, so we found truck. Let's have a look. Let's go down. Let's do all the cross ones first. Oh, oh here's another one. Grr. Grr in grin. And what color is that? Red. You don't have to do it like this. You can use all different colors if you like. But this is what you've been asked to do. And I'm just showing you how to find some of the words. So I'm going to do it this way for this. I'm going to outline that whole word. And I'm going to color it in. So there's grin. 
And now I'm not going to do many more because I would like you to find the rest, but I want to show you what happens because some of them cross over each other. So let's have a look for a word that goes down now. So, t, r, there's tr, and that's I did in green. So, t, r, a, p, trap. But the r of that word has been already used for gr, grin. So, I'm going to just circle it. Here, it's already been done. So that one I've colored in. But here I'm going to circle it so that I can see that it goes with this word and with that word. T -r, and then this one I'm going to color in. Right, so that's how you're going to find all of these words. So you need to have, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words that you have circled or colored in in your whirly word from your spelling list. And I've helped you to already find one, two, and three. So as I said, you can do it in all different colors. Um, but remember that the words go forwards and down. And then you need to find another one, two, three we've done and there are eight so eight take away three you need to find another five words from this list in your whirly word come on I'm sure some of you have already spotted quite a few right good luck and do it as best you can and then remember to complete your column of words nice and neatly for today as well.